Good afternoon everyone. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to install Mozilla Thunderbird. It's uh, Mozilla's version of an email client. Um, before we set up Outlook Express, um, Thunderbird gives you a little bit more options to use, uh, some more functionality, um, similar to Outlook but not as heavy as Outlook. So it's a nice combination between Outlook Express and regular Outlook. So go ahead and open up your web browser. Uh, Firefox, Internet Explorer, Safari, Netscape, Chrome, whatever you're using. Um, let's go to my website, www.chip-smith.com, and we'll click on the Self Help tab here at the top. And let's see over here to the right, we're going to click on the Thunderbird icon. And we're going to download right here with this big gray button. This is free downloads. We'll go ahead and click on that. And download should start. We're going to save the file to our desktop. And close out our web browser in the background here. OK. Now we can uh, double click the install icon for Thunderbird. Go ahead and click run on the window security warning. It'll begin the extract and then it'll start the setup or prompting us through the setup anyways. Okay, so again we have our pre-install text. Go ahead and click Next. Accept the license agreement and click Next. I choose the standard setup. Uh, you can choose the custom if you want to go through there. Click Next. I'll just wait for this to install real quick. And once it's finished, go ahead and click close or finish. And it's going to launch Mozilla Thunderbird when we do that. Now you have an icon here with a little Thunderbird on the an envelope. Um, when you first start up out, uh, Mozilla Thunderbird, it's going to ask you to import anything. Um, since Outlook Express is already set up, uh, that's defaulted. And since that's the Windows defaulted, mail client it's always going to use Outlook Express to import from um, so we'll go ahead and we won't import anything click next uh, when it comes up it's going to ask us to set up an account so we're going to set up an email account click next and put in your name and your email address Okay, so this is setting up the servers for your email. Um, I'm using an OliPen mail uh, server. So OliPen users, go ahead and use these same settings here. Uh, we're going to make sure we have pop set up here at the top, and our incoming mail server is going to be pop3.olipen.com. Um, for our outgoing mail server, we're going to use smtp.olipen.com. Go ahead and click Next. Incoming username, OliPen users, just use the first part of your email address. So John at OliPen.com, you'll use just John. Um, outgoing username, the same thing. Account name, you can name that to a home account or work or business, whatever. Click Next. Um, download messages. Now I'm going to uncheck that just for the time being, and I'll show you why. And click Finish. We've got to finish a couple little steps here for this mail client. So go ahead and click on Tools at the top and click Account Settings. On the Account Settings here, we've got to check a couple things. So underneath your account, we're going to click on Server Settings. And we want to make sure that we have Check for New Messages at Startup. That's checked. Check for Messages. I leave mine set to 1 because I leave my mail clients on all the time. Um, and we want to automatically down new messages. Okay, everything looks good there. Uh, for outgoing mail, click on that. Uh, we want to edit this real quick um, and make sure that we have security and authentication for outgoing mail. Use name and password, so we're using these things. Okay, so go ahead and click OK and OK. Everything is set, so we can click on Get Mail. It'll prompt you for your password. Choose Remember. Click OK and OK, and your mail comes in. 